To God be the glory, and welcome to this, our real illuminating moment. I'm O. W. Prince. The Lord Yehoshua HaMashiach, mistakenly translated Jesus Christ, never preached or taught out of a Bible, and he certainly did not have to kiss no popes, churches, or congregations behind in order to proclaim Yahweh's gospel of repentance and salvation. And he didn't turn the Holy Spirit into a spectacle of insanity, dancing and yelling and physical animation and musical excitement, running around and rolling around on the floor. Those type things are all indications of demonic possession. But the Holy Spirit is intelligent and self-controlled. And the Lord never monetized his preaching and teaching, whereas it would become a profitable profession for any one of his apostles or disciples. To the contrary, he warned them that to follow him meant persecution, tribulation, poverty, suffering, and even death. But as was prophesied, Satan has deceived the whole world, and Christians are the most deceived of all, as Catholicism and her Christian offspring are the tools of Satan's deception. Repent is the message of our Lord, and it is the message that I'm sending out today. Repent. The truth is the truth is the truth, and no matter how you feel about it, the truth will not change. This is Satan's world, and everything in it and about it is a lie and twisted, perverted, corrupt, and an enemy of Father Yahweh, including your churches and religions. Yahweh's salvation is the only salvation that there is, and Yahushua's way is the only way that leads to eternal life. He said so when he said that no one come to the Father except by him, except in the same way that he obeyed the Father and kept the Father's laws and Sabbath days in spirit and in truth. If you can't believe in the law and the prophets which Jehoshua taught and fulfilled, then you don't believe in God, but in a fairy tale, and you practice a delusional religion and faith, one that has the pretense of holiness, but not the genuineness and authenticity of obedience and righteousness. We live in the last days where shepherds are females, and men are wives, and women are husbands, and wickedness, lewdness, and vulgarity are praised and rewarded handsomely, and holiness and godliness are criminalized and demonized. But I'm sent to sound God's alarm to this end time generation. Repent. Turn away from the idol gods of false prophets and religions, Christianity in particular, and truly seek the Lord of salvation with everything in your heart and soul. Pray and fast. Search for the authentic, genuine man of God in whom Yahweh's spirit resides and leave those pulpit practitioners, gifted and skilled orators and motivational speakers and paid prostitutes, greedy, dumb and church hired dogs alone. They don't know God and are not known by God. They neither love nor respect his law and Sabbath. But they worship and serve their own appetites, philosophies, theologies, images, statues, organizations and ideologies. Please. Open your eyes and see the open rebellion that this world and all of her churches and religions have launched against God. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. None is righteous. No, not one. Everyone has gone their own way, doing their own thing in their own way. They all have abandoned the truth. And now that you have listened and heard the warning from God's servant to repent, you are now responsible for your own soul, salvation, and damnation. There's no excuse. My hands are clean and my conscience is clear. I have delivered unto you what God has told me to do. I did not water it down, dress it up, sugarcoat it, and I did not hoop it up. Finally, as we all have been instructed to do, repent and be baptized. That is to say, be buried in a watery grave in obedience to the Lord's command and in the authority of his name, who is above all names, principalities, and powers, Yehoshua HaMashiach, the one you may know as Jesus the Christ. And wash away your sins, calling on his name, and you will receive the promised gift of the Holy Spirit, the Raha Kodesh, who will teach and guide you into all truth. For God doesn't change, nor does he lie. In his word, his law and commandments are eternal as he is eternal. And as God promised through the prophets, his law will be inscribed on our hearts and minds so that we have no need of a translated book or religious institution or priesthood type faith. Haven't you heard? Do you not know that we are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in us? Do you not know that you are God's Israel? 
You are his chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Repent, 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 I say, in the name of the Lord, repent.